Hello, my name's Tom Hackett. I'm going to talk a bit about my art project that's here in the gallery, lying low to keep afloat. The project stems from my ongoing fascination with rivers in general, but particularly the River Trent. And I'm really fascinated by the way it goes through very different places from the start of its journey up in Staffordshire, through to Stoke, down to Burton, Nottingham, Newark, and then down to Scunthorpe, where it flows out to sea. It starts as this tiny trickle and then becomes this huge, quite, imposing mass by the time it gets down to the Humber. With that in mind, I decided I wanted to gather conversations with people who live in different towns along its course. That was the plan, was to create art out of conversations. To do that, I need something to act as a kind of catalyst, so I did two things. One, I wear these loud tech suits, which are kind of fabric designed and printed for myself from previous conversations I've had in different places. And secondly, I walk around with a handmade wooden canoe. I mostly walk because when you're in the middle of the river, it's very difficult for people to talk to you. Whereas on the bank, you're walking along and people will just say, oh, what are you up to? Or I like your suit or something. It starts a conversation going and then the conversation can be anything. And then I try and steer the conversation, but um, in the end, it goes a direction it does. The big challenge I faced was originally I was due to start doing the walking around with the suits and canoes in spring, but then lockdown happened and everything changed, um, everything stopped. After that, I was allowed back out again early summer, but I emerged into a very different psychological space, a space where people didn't want to get close, a space where people were anxious, not everyone, but some people. So reading people became a very different thing. I was traveling outside Nottingham for the first time, which felt odd going to Stoke-on-Trent, going to, to Burton, which is quite close. Initially, it felt quite a peculiar experience. The whole idea about introducing a surreal element to everyday encounters changed because every day had become surreal. So that begged the question, how do you work and interrupt the everyday with, when the everyday has become interrupted? And, there's, there, and the, people talk about a new norm, but a new norm hasn't really landed yet. Things are still in a state of flux. So that sent me a kind of curveball. The good news is the, the core of the project was about meeting people, meeting places, and creating something from that that became a kind of a, a distillation of that process. Not an illustration, but a fragmented encounter. And that could still happen. So that was really where I could work forward was actually working on that side of the whole project. So, but there was a very different emphasis coming into the conversations I was having just because of the changing nature of what people had been through. Once the conversation has been gathered, I design these on a computer into lines of text and they become digital fabric print on the same fabric as I'm wearing and that creates, gets sewn into sleeves that go over swimming noodle forms and these are now twisting through the gallery space, um, snaking along, they start to create quite a strong sense of a physical force that is evocative of a kind of river of conversations. The second key part is the sound installation and that's where I work with Julian Woodcock who I've collaborated with on quite a number of projects. He takes the conversations I have, which aren't recorded, they're just written down on notes, and he then gets voice actors to create the, the, um, a sound collage of voices saying different things. These get mixed together with a piano composition, which has been um, written and performed and recorded by my son, Freddie, in reacting to the River Trent. You know, we actually went down, we walked on the river. So the whole experience is like, a, um, hopefully, an, an immersive kind of engagement with visual, and audio experience and you walk into the space 
uh, and it gives some kind of fragmentary celebration of the River Trent. I see art as a kind of action and a verb rather than a noun and I like the way being an artist takes me to places that are not tourist destinations but are real living working parts of the UK and I can just come away um, with some kind of a snapshot of them. I always recognise that I'm only dipping into things temporarily and I'm really interested in the fact that what's happened with our whole society at the moment with these change states we're going on that the river just continues, the river trend keeps flowing. It's extraordinary, it starts as a little trickle in Staffordshire and just keeps surging through the space and it's full of beautiful wildlife, fantastic birds, superb plants and it just keeps flowing and flowing and flowing. It's a shifting mass that is, is much bigger than us. It, it actually makes us feel beautifully small and I think that's what makes it such a special, extraordinary thing that we need to value and celebrate.